every time I upload a video, I put it as private. Um, that way I can fix the title, fix the description, uh, the end screen and everything before the video is public. So when I had uploaded my last video, I noticed that they said that it wasn't, uh, it wasn't suitable for advertisers. I was like, what? <laughs> and as far as I know, it was probably the YouTube algorithm that saw the, the thumbnail. I was like, oh no, there's a naked man. Oh no, we can't show this to people. Some advertisers don't want to put their ads on this. Ah, it's porn, no. <laughs> but luckily I had the options to ask for a manual review. <laughs> so some poor bastard at the, at the YouTube had to watch that video to see if it was okay to put ads on it. And then they thought it was okay. So yay me. Also the last, mer the, the Mercy <laughs> video as well. Um, I put it to age restricted because that's what I do and <laughs> I got the message that someone at YouTube also reviewed it and said that yeah this is age restricted <laughs> so like yeah good on you YouTube ruff, ruff, ruff. hey guys it's your bow Bo the doggo and welcome back to Amaros and the final date with Dustin oh this is what everyone has been waiting for <laughs> But before we, s we jump into the, the juicy stuff with Dustin, there was something I, I learned recently when I was looking up trivia on the, the Amorous wiki. Apparently VAR makes an uh, uh, appearance in one of Jack's dates. I had to look this up and like start a new game and go through Jack's <laughs> dates just to see this. And if you haven't seen the dates about Jack's uh, and you want, don't want to spoil anything about them, I don't know if, if there are any spoilers at all, because you're all just here for the sex scenes anyways. But if you don't want to get spoils about Jax, uh, jump, jump forward to this timeline and where I start playing the game. Uh, but now that they are gone, <laughs> these people that don't want the spoilers... Um, as you know, I think it was in the last video of Jax, he loses his job because so, there was some asshole um, who got him fired. And of course, that asshole at the at the club was Var, and you can actually confront him, and uh, I think you even get to smack him <laughs> uh, before you get dragged out by the guard. Um, so yeah, Var is an asshole, confirmed, and everything is in one. It's confirmed that it's all connected. Oh, but yeah, now to the reason everyone is here. Let's fuck Dustin. We'll probably get fucked by, but yeah, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. Hello, is this Dustin? I hadn't seen Dustin for a couple of days. Not a major issue usually, but I figure I should give him a call and see what's up. Ring, ring, click. Hey, hello. I was wondering when you were gonna call me. <laughs> really? I was wondering why I hadn't heard from you. Well, things have been a little busy lately. Kind of hard to explain over the phone. Are you busy? Not right now. A little busy, yeah. No, I'm not busy. Let's meet up. No, I'm free at the moment. Ah, uh -huh, good. Do you mind if I swing by your place and pick you up? I really need to talk to you. Uh-oh, what is this about? Uh, sure? Great, I'll be over there just a bit. Click. Without another word, the cell phone went quiet. What in the heck was going on with that guy? Hmm, I don't like this. Dustin wasn't that far away from my parents' house, so I grabbed what I could to make myself decent. I'd barely finished when there was a knock on the door. I headed out of my room and screeched to halt when I saw who opened the door. Oh no, was it the dad? Yeah, it's the dad! <laughs> Bo? There's a lion at the door for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, sorry about that, dad. Uh, just going to head out to do some more job hunting with a friend. Uh-huh. Be back at a responsible time tonight, okay? Me and your mom do like to sleep sometimes. Gosh. Right, sorry, uh, I'll be back quick or quiet. Dad wandered off, grabbing a little under his breath while I opened the door. That kind of sounds like my dad. <laughs> hey the bow. Uh, was that your dad? It's a very long story. Still, he's nice enough to let me stay here, so I probably shouldn't antagonize him more than needed. Oh yeah, he, he probably doesn't know that that you're that I'm adopted. Or was it your mom was together with Kobe's dad? Because then I'm really curious about this picture behind him. If that is like his dad 
and is that Kobe's mom and not my mom or or am I adopted? I don't remember. And also, is that why does that look like her stomach? Like she's pregnant, but she has a blue stomach. Or is it his wing, maybe? Or arm? It's so weird. I don't know. Let's let's get on with it. Ah, oh, gotcha. Well, I've got a surprise for you, first off. Just step away from the door, long enough for me to see what was behind him. A bright, cherry red sports car was parked neatly in my parents' driveway. It looked kind of like it just had rolled off the lot. You, you sold Betsy? Nice upgrade. Uh, no, we're gonna ask about Betsy. I admit to a little sadness at the sight. Despite his grudgingly attitude, I grew to like Betsy. You sold Betsy? I did. It was hard, but I'll explain it on the way. It's kind of personal and I don't really feel comfortable talking out here. Go ahead and hop in. It's fresh from the lot and I've been wanting to give her a little spin around. I still wasn't completely sure what was going on, but I got it to the point where I trusted Dustin. Yeah, you probably don't have to check for rupees anymore. <laughs> we both slid into the car. The leather seat crattling my back would bump quite nicely. Dustin smiled and slid into the driver's seat before revving up the engine. Compared to the choking and sputtering from Betsy, this new car was silent as a whisper when it wanted to be, and only let out a roar of power when Dustin poured the accelerator. Still, old movies, recycling old days from war, it seems strangely out of character for Dustin to make such a big change. I'm really curious what this is about. Okay, enough of being cryptic. What is going on? Walking by my place again last night, which makes it maybe two days since he officially moved into his new place. Dustin's voice trembled with a little hesitation as my heart began to sink. Was Var right? Was this the breakup speech? <gasps> Was it? Oh no. I'm getting emotional here. <laughs> what is going on? Hitline bet this cab with rose petals and was lying there with a cooler of beer and a blanket. Said he was sorry for everything he'd done and just wanted me back. Oh, so did he get a new car just to break, like, for real break up with the Var? And the, sell all the memories and all that? This was getting harder and harder to hear. Why the hell would he force me to be in a car with him while he breaks up with me? What kind of sadistic bastard does that? Also, it should be... I believe it's he and not B. <laughs> I almost did it. W wait. Almost? When I saw him laying there, I felt the same creeping feeling, that comfortable rut coming up from behind again. I could just fall back into that same relationship again and play out the same thing a week or a month down the road. A slow curve rocked me back into my seat, full of the sensation of being in the car back to the fore. I felt cold and numb from the neck down. I said no. I said no and he went ballistic. Went on about how you meant nothing to me, how he was the only one for me, how I saved him when he needed to get away from his life, and how dare I. Dustin's voice trailed off as he pulled into another slow, lazy turn. I'd forgotten we were going somewhere, but when I looked out the windows, I only saw the ocean. He brought up how many memories we had because of Betsy, and how he put up so much thought into this grand romantic gesture, really poured on the guilt. So, what happened? I realized he was right. We have plenty of memories of Betsy. Our fights, his embarrassment when I drove into a nice restaurant, even the time he walked out of me at a drive through double feature. Another curve had pulled us closer to the ocean, sheer cliffs and the sandstone dipping down to the beaches spotted with people. That's when I realized that me, my first relationship with war, was all like Betsy. It was my first taste of freedom, and I just clung to it like a drawing man. The car slowed to a stop in a small, ill-kept parking space. A smattering of gravel scattered around us. It took me that long to realize where we were. That same sandy beach as our last date, still secured and quiet, Dusty smiled at me for a moment, pulling a cooler from its back of the car. So, I had to let it go. All of it. Var, Betsy, my obsession with freedom. I had to let myself be free of all that crap. Wow, good job, Dustin. <laughs> I don't understand. That's why you sold Betsy? Yeah, so that's why you sold Betsy. To make a clean break of it. Yeah. I needed to make a clean start so I could get on my life with... with you. Ah! With me? This me? The I? This I? The me? <laughs> don't worry. I don't have a ring or anything with me. One major life change at a time. I just mean... I'm done with war. 
he's gone for good and you don't have to worry about comparisons or anything. <laughs> what? He's gone for good? Sounds like he killed him or something. What if he did? <gasps> no more measuring up to your ex? No, that's a relief. <laughs> it's a relief, honestly. For a moment in the car, I thought you were breaking up with me. Yeah, sorry. I just... War's been looming over all this time, and I didn't want to tell you the first part when you could just slam the door in my face. That's true, that's true. I wouldn't have done that. Alright, I might have done that. Uh, personally, my, me, I wouldn't have done it, but I think my this ca this character might have done it. So, alright, I might have done that. <laughs> Fair enough, I might have done that. And I wouldn't have blamed you. That still doesn't explain the with me part, because I am stupid. Well, I'm not gonna put a label on it, but I like you, Bo. I like you way more than I thought I would. I thought you'd be a fun fling, but I think you'd be a fun in any situation. Or any position. <laughs> ah, why is my character like this? Thanks, Dustin. It means a lot to hear that. Yeah, he is so horny all the time with with Dustin. Jesus Christ. It means a great deal to hear that. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't concerned about Vark coming back and... Believe me when I say there is no chance of that now. He killed him. He, he definitely killed him. <laughs> Dustin shook the cooler for a second, motioning me over as he tossed down a blanket. It was nice last time, and I'm sure it's going to be even better this time. Do you want a drink? I sat the lid next to him, shaking out the cooler as he popped the top. I'll have a beer and have a soda, I have a water... I'm not, I'm not the beer guy, but I wouldn't have said no to something with alcohol in it, but uh, I'll go for soda then. I snagged out the can of soda, popping the top before taking a quick sip. Cool, sweet, and refreshing. I'll stick with the beer. I need a little something to take the edge off after some major life changes. Well, I know something that can take the edge off. <laughs> he fished up the bottle for himself, popping the top and taking a deep swig. Free cold beer on a warm beach is always the best in my opinion. Wait, that... So he got... Oh, he got the VAR strings. Oh no! <laughs> he definitely killed him! For a while, we just let the ocean do the talking. Sitting back and enjoying our drinks. Drawing close to each other on the sandy blanket. His hand slid absently over mine. The other setting the empty bottle into the sand nearby. It squeezed softly when he noticed me looking. I wanted to say thanks. I know this means some rough stuff, but you stuck around. That means a lot to me. My cheeks flushed for a moment, squeezing his hand back firmly. You were worth it, Dustin. Ah, oh, this is kind of sweet. This is kind of sweet. <laughs> Probably the nicest thing anyone ever said to me in a while. Aww. Okay, I think it's time that I admit that I was so wrong about Dustin. Like, as I said in the first first episode, I didn't like this character and I thought he looked arrogant and all, but yeesh, he's just a sweetheart. It was kind of weird though in the first begin first episode when he thought that we were a fling and all, but deep down he's just a little house cat. <laughs> Jingly, he knitted his finger through mine, his palm pressed firmly against my own as he turned to look into my eyes. My lips parted, wanted to say something to fill the silence. But instead he leaned forward and pressed his lips against mine. The kiss was soft and loving at first, our shared warmth growing as he drew close to me. Soon though, we both pressed deeper into each other's embrace. Our tongues teased and touched for the moment, his hand squeezing mine firmly as his other slipped down to the small of my back. I felt a shudder run down my spine as our lips slowly parted. The cool ocean air strung my lungs as the sweet taste of his musk on my tongue began to fade. I tugged softly on his hand, pulling it toward me and atop me. He straddled my sides, holding me against the sand as his lips pressed against my own more forcefully. Oh, how oh, it's becoming the bad boy! My hands fumbled with his shirt, stumbling over the buttons until they finally slid free and the thin fabric began to build in the breeze. Oh! Shrugging out of it, Dusty's fingers left mine for only a moment as he cast his shirt aside and pressed his silk and muscular chest against my own. I gasped against his lips as our mutual arousal pressed and rubbed firmly against each other. My breath came to a short bust, gasps for that sea air as his lips traveled down my neck and his fangs grazed my hide. Even if I could have mustered a resistance, I wouldn't have cared to. Those strong paws moved to squeeze me, 
hold me, possess me. His need rose in the sound of his rumbling purse. My own need ached in my groin, my hips arcing to meet his own as he ground firmly against me. His kisses along my neck became playful bites as his paws came to rest on my backside. My body ached to his, and as the blanket shifted beneath me, sand puffed up. Dustin coughed and spluttered as sand ran down, forcing me to shut my eyes. Ugh! Peaches really aren't contesting for this, but I got a new car that's been just dying to break in. <laughs> Before I could object, I felt myself lifted and thrown over a shoulder. Bouncing just a few inches above that firmly contoured feline rump, I watched upside down as Dustin hauled me back up along the trail to the parking lot. Man, he's strong! Once he had reached the car, Dustin pulled open the door and set me down on my back. Now, I don't want more sand on my car than needed, so say goodbye to your clothes for now. <laughs> my objections were ignored as I was shocked nude and my things tossed into the passenger seat. He smiled down at me, running his paws over my bare skin. Very nice. But that position just won't do. Again those strong paws grabbed me, shifting me to my side and splayed me out along the back seat. Much better. Gosh, Dusty, you're such a bad boy! <laughs> Dustin gingerly spread open my legs, exposing my thigh ring. <laughs> what the fuck? Exposing my tight ring to his view, sliding up into the seat behind me. I felt him shift and position himself. Uh oh! <laughs> Unable to see him well, it took a moment to realize what he what he was doing. Oh yeah, I wonder what he is doing. Is he fetching another beer? Hmm. I felt the warm, fleshy tip of something, slicking him with lube and pre, pressing against me before plunging into my tail hole. <laughs> ah. I don't know how long we stay like that, spread out over the back of his car, our naked bodies still pressed against each other, but it didn't matter much at that point. I couldn't lie to myself. I wanted this, maybe even from the moment I saw him. Still, the journey was satisfying. We spent a few moments trying to clean up, throwing our sandy clothes and making certain no one saw us. Fortunately, it remained our little secret, and by the time the sun had dipped into the horizon, we were packed up and ready to go. I thought he was going to say that they were just done with the second round. <laughs> there isn't much you can say after a night like that. I felt closer than ever to Dustin, but more importantly, he was willing to get close to me. I couldn't let his hand go the whole ride home, and he didn't try to stop me. It didn't matter if he ruined his backseat, or that it smelled like a beachfront Bravo. All that mattered for now was a ride home, and the promise of what might be tomorrow. We got back to my place without incident. My dad was just getting ready for bed, and only gave me a passing glory before disappearing into his room. I guess... this is good night, Bo. I guess so. I call you again sometime? He leaned forward and kissed me gently on the cheek. Anytime, kid. Anytime at all. I returned his parting kiss, squeezing his hand softly before letting go and watching him walk out the door. It might not wind up perfect in the end, but I'll take what I got right now over that chance. <sighs> the end. So what do you think happened with Var? Did he kill him? He, he, because he must have done something to him since he was so sure that he won't come back and then they didn't bring it up anymore. So my 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 bet is that he killed him. <laughs> but anyway, that that was the end of Dustin. And if you want to see who the next character is, you don't have to wait for the next episode. You just have to wait to the end of this video to find out. Um but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and if you haven't already and want to be sure to see my other videos, please subscribe. And also a huge thank you to all my patrons. I appreciate it a lot uh, that you keep supporting me like this. And if you want to become a patron as well, check out the link in the description. There is also links to my Discord server and my Twitter if you want to check that out. It's in the description. But I guess that's all for now guys. So stay till the end to find out who the next character is. And uh, until next time, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.
And the next character we're going to date is Lexi. See you then.